Okay, this is a quick guide on um, on how I do my grafting. Sometimes it's beneficial to do this. Um, some of the sort of soil-borne diseases that affect cucumbers and watermelons and things like that in this country means that to get better results, grafting is um, is probably one of the only ways to go. So here we've got the rootstock. <clears throat> we say this is a marrow. Um, we've basically pinched out the growing tip just to leave the seed leaves here. You then take something roughly the size of your shion or the plant that you're actually going to grow on the rootstock to make to make a hole going down into the stem. You then take a sharp knife sharpish cut it at an angle like that. really everything should be totally clean this is just for demonstration really you then just make sure it's a tight fit it fits nicely into the rootstock and there you have it. Then that will go into heated propagator. I do it like this, I've got a big pot. Here's the one I did earlier. So that's a David Thomas world record cucumber on the top. And that's grafted into a, uh, a marrow, which you know will be a lot more vigorous won't be so susceptible to uh, soil borne disease that's kept um, misted so you can see I've got got it in here I put the pot over the top then I'll put this J cloth over the top of that which is in a jar of water so it'll stay nice and moist and humid in there until hopefully it's um, the graft is stuck and then it'll grow away like this. This is a watermelon I did a little while ago and you can see that's grown away strongly now on the top. That's about it.